Hello, my name is Aaron Sienski. I'm 14 years old and a member of the Phoenix 4-H Club in Union County, North Carolina. Today, I will be talking to you about an intriguing and endangered anim animal, the pangolin. Pangolins look like the offspring of an anteater and a pine cone. So what is a pangolin? Pangolins are the only mammal covered in, in scales. They feed on ants and termites and are of no threat to humans. They are also the most trafficked mammal in the world and are being threatened to extinction. The word pangolin comes from the Malay word pangolin, which means one that rolls up. Although they are sometimes called scaly anteaters and may seem similar to armadillos, pangolins are not closely related to either anteaters or armadillos. Most pangolins are solitary, nocturnal animals that spend most of the day curled up into a ball asleep. Some pangolins are arboreal and live in hollow trees. These peng pangolins have prehensile tails to hang from tree branches. Ground dwelling pangolins dig deep tunnels underground for sleeping and nesting. When threatened, a pangolin will cover its head with its front legs, exposing its scales. If touched or grabbed, it will roll up in completely into a ball, which makes it easier for poachers to take them. Pangolins emit, emit a, a noxious smelling chemical, which they use to mark their territories. Pangolins eat a steady diet of ants, termites, and other insects and larvae. Some pangolins will feed on just one or two species of insects. When fully extended, the pangolin's tongue can be up to 16 inches long. Tongue muscles are attached near the pelvis and ribs. A pangolin's tongue is stored in its chest cavity when not in use. Their saliva is sticky, which helps them grab insects. Pangolins don't have teeth so they can't chew. They eat stones to help grind up their food and have spiny stomachs to help digestion. Ground dwelling penguins use their short, powerful legs and sharp curved claws to dig undertown tunnels some 11 feet deep and to excavate ant and termite mounds. Arboreal penguins are adept climbers and use their claws to, pro to pull bark off trees and, lo and logs to find insects. An adult pangolin can eat up to 20,000 ants a day, about 73 million ants a year. Pangolins can close their ears and nostrils using strong muscles. This protects them from ant attacks. Pangolins are the only mammals that are covered in scales. The plate-like scales are soft on newborn pangolins, but quickly harden. These hard, overlapping scales cover most of their bodies and vary in color by species from light to yellow, br yellowish brown to a greenish olive or a dark brown. The pangolin's overlapping scales act as armor while it protects its face by tucking it under its tail. The scales are sharp, providing extra vents from predators. The scales are made of keratin, just like human hair and fingernails. The pangolin scales make up 15 to 20 percent of their weight. Pangolins are about the size of a domestic cat. Pangolin species vary in size from about 3.5 pounds to 73 pounds. Pangolins have poor vision and rely heavily on their keen senses of smell and hearing. Pangolins can run quickly and are capable swimmers. Some rise and sit on their hind limbs to sniff the air. Each paw has five toes and the forefoot have, has three long curved claws. Some pangolins walk on their front claws bent under the foot, the foot pad. They walk with the back feet flat. African pangolin females usually give birth to one baby at a time but the Asian species may give birth to up to three. Baby pangolins travel with their mother by riding on their tail. They are weaned at around three months of age, but remained in their mother's care for a few months. Pangolins reach maturity after two years. Scientists have tried to get pangolins to bear young in captivity, but have mostly failed. Pangolins do not do well in captivity, 
often die of pneumonia and ulcers. Researchers have been working to improve artificial pangolin habitats, hoping to increase survival rates in order to reintroduce populations into their natural habitats. Pangolins make their homes in tropical forest, dry woodlands, and savannas that have sandy soil and are close to water. Some species find shelter in trees, while others love, love to live in underground burrows. There are four pangolin species native to Africa, the white-bellied tree pangolin, giant pangolin, black-bellied tree pangolin, and ground pangolin. The African pangolin species do not have bristles between the scales. There are four pangolins native to Asia, the Chinese pangolin, the Philippine pangolin, the Sunda pangolin, and the Indian pangolin. Asian pangolin species do have bristles between their scales. Even though they are protected by law, all eight pangolin species are at a risk of extinction. The Chinese pangolin and the Sunda pangolin are listed by the International Union for Conservation of nature as critically endangered. The biggest threat to all pangolin species today is illegal hunting for meat, traditional medicines, and fashion accessories. Most pangolins are illicit, international trade end up in China and Vietnam. Here, the meat of the animals is consumed as a delicacy, but, is, but it is also believed to impart health benefits such as nourishing the kidneys, despite the lack of evidence suggesting their ineffective. Pangolin scales are used as an ingredient in traditional Asian medicines to help breastfeeding women lactate milk to cure ailments ranging from asthma to psoriasis to cancer and to improve, improve blood circulation. More than 1 million pangolins have been traded illegally in the past decade. This makes pangolins the, the world's most trafficked mammal approximately one pangolin is snatched from the wild every five minutes. Pangolins are known as the guardians of the forest because they protect forests from termites destruction, maintaining a balanced ecosystem. Public efforts to prevent poaching of pangolins in China are gaining traction, such as this public service announcement featuring Jackie Chan, produced through a partnership between Wild Aid and the National Conservancy. Jackie Chan says, it's crazy in this day and age that people are still eating these wild animals and threatening them with extinction. I hope we can persuade people that it's the wrong thing to do. Everyone can help the con conservation efforts by becoming more educated about pangolins, Sh sharing what you have learned by talking to your friends and posting on social media. If demand decreases, so will illegal sales and so will the illegal killing of pangolins. We can help conservation teams with their plans in small ways by buying merch, sharing posts, and in a big way by giving don donations and volunteering time. We can also help, help conservation teams with their plans by participating in various events. This is an easy way to help pangolins be safe. Many groups encourage people to buy pins, t-shirts, and all different kinds of trinkets to help support their efforts, along with encouraging people to retweet, repost, and share things about pangolins through social media. I use these online resources for my presentation. There are many more websites, videos, and social media posts about pangolins that I view for research, but do not directly refer to in my presentation. Thank you all for your time with me today talking about how unique pangolins are, why they are an important species, and the efforts we can take to save them from extinction. Have a nice day and I will look forward to the judges' questions.